Hello, everybody. I am Alpaca Patrol. It's Binding of Isaac Wrath of the Lamb. That's right. I'm back with some more Binding of Isaac Wrath of the Lamb. Today, I'm going to jump in here. And, uh, you know, a lot of people were saying, uh, play Isaac. And you know what? I'm inclined to agree. I like playing Isaac, so I'm going to play Isaac. Um, now, uh, you know, someone made a comment recently. Uh, that said, please continue on your road to the Platinum God by beating, ooh, okay, uh, by beating the chest with Judas. Now, guys, correct me if I'm wrong, those of you who have been watching for a long time, because I don't remember myself. Uh, by the way, we just picked up the mini mush because that's speed and range, and you know what? Kind of like that. Um, oops, uh, never mind, I'm, I'm an idiot, so I, 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 the speed and range has done nothing for me. Uh, I still... Wow, yeah. I am still terrible. Uh, anyway. Yeah, and, and play Judas and beat the chest. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I did that. But considering that I have never seen Judas' tongue, I don't think that I have. I remember getting the achievement for Judas' tongue. I remember unlocking the secret for Judas' tongue. But I don't remember ever seeing Judas' tongue. So I feel like I actually do have to beat the chest with Judas. Um... And if that's the case, well then, we're gonna have a few videos of me failing miserably with Judas in the near future, uh, because we have to do that. I I thought that I, I thought that was done. I really did. I but I I'm thinking more and more that that is not actually the case, uh, which is kind of shitty, to be honest. I kind of wish it wasn't or was the case so that I could you know kind of successfully not have to play Judas. Uh, because of his one heart. So, which is also a shame because of yesterday's run. Oh, god damn it. Why are you taking so much damage for some reason? Oh, what the hell is going on? And it's fine. We have a bunch of hearts here. Oop. The speed and range. You know what? It's because I'm small and maybe I'm thinking that it's, uh, that I can move faster or farther or, or more sneakily and stealthily than I can. Well, I'm not even going to re-roll that. Uh, and I have three bombs. The secret room is likely in one place. If it's not in that one place, then it's probably in the other place. Uh, and then if it's not in that place, it's likely in the other place. And if it's not in that other place, then it's in the other place. But it's in the first place. And we got nothing. Alright, so let's blow it up. See what we get. Yeah, key. Traded two bombs for a key and three cents. You know, ah, yeah. it's not a great trade, but I've had worse. I have certainly had worse. So anyway, let's uh, jump down to the next floor. See what's going on. We didn't mean to use the D6 there. Uh, perhaps I should have re-rolled the speed and range. Just the thing is, when you get a passive upgrade from uh, from your treasure room, I don't know. I feel like uh, I feel like I don't want to re-roll that whenever I get that, since they're so rare anyway. Uh, but maybe I should have. Oh well, what's done is done. You know what? We've already decided. So I mean, there's really not much we can do about it now. Hmm. I could use a bomb and a key. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Cause who knows? You know, there could be the secret room there. Uh huh. And we got a sad onion. You know, that all worked out. I mean, we only got three cents, but you know what? We got the sad onion, so I think it all worked out for the best. We could have rerolled that too, but I, you know, I like the sad onion. Again, it's a it's a passive, and it gives us uh, super fast shot speed. You know, I ain't gonna complain about that, yo. I ain't gonna complain about that. Oh darn it! Dang it, Bobby. Um, and we shall continue murder. Murder Town, USA. Population me! Uh, there's another chest. Cool, let's go in here. Rosary, you know what? I'm re-rolling that. Uh, Sacrificial Dagger is not bad. It's not bad, but is it worthy of another re-roll? Probably. So, we'll, uh, I mean, it is a, uh, oh, wow. Lots of money. We're close to getting shop-worthy. And, well, we're not going to fight the boss yet, because I'd rather get full on our uh, D6, uh, because we would like uh, to put the lotion on its skin. Okay, well, so much for that. No putting the lotion on its skin for us. Uh, I am going to shoot out all these fires, because we only need two more cents. So if we could get two more cents, then life would be good. And there is a full red heart in that other room. Wow, we didn't even get the single cent. It happens, I guess. Okay, Guppy's head is great. Do we want to trade the D6 for Guppy's head, though? I 
don't know, man. I don't think so. I mean, I think the D6... You know, people yelled at me last time that I traded the D6 on, like, the first floor. So, I'm not gonna do it, because I don't like getting yelled at. Uh, and I don't think there's anything else we could do, but I'm gonna take the longest way around these rocks. Uh, because it's more fun that way, I think. It's like Bring Around the Rosie. Uh, let's fire at these fires. You know, hopefully maybe we could get a, uh, nickel. Ha <laughs> ha! We actually did. That's, that's pretty funny. I didn't think that we could actually get a nickel. Um, so I guess we're gonna take the Sacrificial Dagger also, and whatever boss item we may get, because we don't have enough for any rerolls, so. Um, so we're just gonna do that. Oh, come on. Notched Axe, really? Uh, pfft, none of that's worth it. I mean, I, I could get the uh, the blue heart for five, but I have five, four red hearts. I'd rather have the money, honestly. So, we're going to keep the money, and then move on here. Notched Axe is basically worthless. It's pretty much a worthless item. We'll take the uh, Sacrificial Dagger, and then we'll fight this boss. I mean, the Sacrificial Dagger is not a bad item, because it's a defensive item, and it can be used as an offensive item. However, I'm not going to, probably. <laughs> because, uh, I'm, I'm poor enough at dodging as it is, let alone uh, trying to hit somebody with something that is so close to my body. So, uh, there's also a big problem with sex uh, for me, because that is just bad aim, you know? Um... I like I, I the goat looked just like the lady that I knew, but uh, it turns out not so. All right, wow, that actually worked out really well, and we got little Steven, uh, which I would have re-rolled to try to get uh, Steven. Okay, so we can get scary, and you know what? We're gonna do it. We're going. To, we're going all in, guys. We're going all in. Uh, and jump down to the next floor. So now we have flight and uh, yeah, spectral tears. So you know, good stuff. Good stuff all around. And you know what? Scary likely will pay for itself. I can hope. Oh, poop. Yeah, let's see what this is. Not health down. Health down. <laughs> I, I think it was only because I said not health down. I think that's the only reason in the world uh, that it was actually a health down. Health up! Telefields. Okay. Well, I tried. I tried, guys. I tried to use my, my powers of uh, clairvoyance to uh, give us something good. But, uh, looks like it didn't work out. That's fine. Not a big deal. Well, it is kind of a big deal. We're down to one heart. But, we have a lot of defense now because of the, uh, things that we got. So, you know, it ain't so bad. Um, hopefully we can kill both of these guys. Yes. Fantastic. Uh, hopefully we don't die anytime soon. And hopefully we get some keys, because, uh, we kind of need them badly. Okay. Maybe I should spend my time... Uh, are you fucking kidding me? I was over the rock. Well, I was, like, behind the rock. What do I need to do? Alright, well, I'm near death here. Uh, so let's go <laughs> get that heart. Oh, Jesus. Why is this turned out so poorly in just the last couple of seconds? Okay, good. There's a there's a blue rock there. So I am going to blow that up. Forthwith. Try to keep myself alive. Okay, cool. We have we have now we have essentially two hearts, so as long as we don't take any damage, this is still doable. Uh we just have to make sure that we get a health up from the boss. So in fact, because of that, I'm gonna go fight the boss. And, uh, and he's gonna be a harbinger. Motherfucker, I swear to god. Uh, yeah, the, the boss is definitely gonna be a harbinger because I need a health up right now. And that's how this game rolls. So, okay, we got a single key, which is great. I'm gonna spend that in here. Oh, dude, the candle. I mean, that, that is, that is take-worthy. However, we want the D6 at least for the rest of this uh, boss fight. Because while I would love to have it in the boss... Okay, cool. Actually, that's not cool. That's that's Chad. That's basically the same thing as getting a Harbinger. Uh, because it's an item that we cannot re-roll. So I kind of wish I picked up the candle. But, uh, you know, too late, I guess. And hopefully I don't get hit by Chad once, because if I do, I'm dead. Um, 
and there's really not too much I can do about it. Uh, so I, you know, prefer not to die. I like living. It's a fun time. I'm enjoying myself in it so far. I mean, granted, I've only had 21 years at it, but, uh, you know, it's... Whoa, okay! Uh, but, uh, but I, I'm, I'm having a good time. Oh, that motherfucker. Are you so... Alright, here we go. Let's replay again. Or not. Alright, there we go. Well, that sucks. Uh, if we hadn't got that health down pill, we'd probably be in a better position. But, uh, oh, that motherfucker, I swear to God. Okay, good. He didn't even die from the bomb. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> it sucks that we got that health down pill, but, uh, you know, it happens. Well, oh, fuck you. Goddamn face spiders. Uh, Celtic Cross will give us a random shield every, uh, every couple of times we get hit. Let's re-roll it. Dead bird. Eh, you know, I'll take Dead Bird. I mean, mostly because I think that I'm not going to be able to re-roll uh, even one more time, so... I guess it's probably not a bad idea. Ah, god, that sucks that we that we got so screwed there. Because had we not, we were actually in, like, a really good position. We had, uh, we had the candle coming up, we had, uh... We had, uh... Flight, we had Spectral Tears... And it was a, it was like a pretty safe trade, considering I got, uh, considering I got items that I did, or, or, uh, or considering that I had four hearts, you know. But uh, you know, it didn't work out, so that sucks. Uh, cool. So, with Pin, people have told me. That uh, you keep hitting him after he has gone into the ground. I've realized that, but it doesn't actually work all the time, as you can see here. But I guess maybe it works there. Eh, kind of. I don't know. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, pin is not that hard. It just takes a little while. That's what she said? That's definitely a that's what she said. That's. I've made a lot of that's what she said jokes over this series. And most of them actually haven't really worked out, but, uh, you know, this one, oh man. Alright, well, I'm not gonna reroll the pentagram. That's a great item. Uh, and yet again, we have not needed to reroll anything. And, in fact, the rooms are laid out so poorly that I cannot actually, uh, I can't actually uh, do that thing that I like to do. I cannot uh, look for the secret room. There you go. Finally got it out. The words worked. Uh, sometimes, sometimes you just got to be like, sound it out. There you go. That's very good. Uh, we got a good damage going. Let's see what this is. Speed up. Cool. Spider butt. Useless. That's also pretty useless, so we're going to leave that there. Potentially re-roll it once more. Uh, hopefully, at least. Um... Uh, if not, if we can't re-roll it, then I suppose we will go fight the boss and uh, live with it. Because, I mean, while it is not what I would love, it is a passive, so, you know, it doesn't hurt to pick it up, really. So, you know, I'm cool with it, basically, is what I'm trying to say. I don't like it, but I'm cool with it. Uh, let's kill these little spiders. Oh, those jerks. Those spider jerks. They're the worst kind of jerks. They're the spider jerks. Okay, cool. We're gonna have just enough to recharge our... Oh, and there's the super secret room. Interesting. Uh, let's play it once. And... Alright. Two spades. Doubles our keys. Yeah, cool. Oh, I should have used justice first, shouldn't I have? Um, eh, let's play it down a couple more times. We don't have any bombs. Cool. The sun is a fantastic card. <laughs> and the crystal ball! Which is equivalently a fantastic card. But since we don't have any bombs, we're going to have to take it. I don't really want to take it, but we're going to have to take it. Um, I'd ra- like, like, oh well, okay, that works out. That's fine. Uh, because we're going to get a cube meat anyway, so I, I wouldn't have been able to re-roll anything in any case anyway, so not a big concern. Dude, kill your flies. Alright, one's fine. 
want to kill that one though. He seems so irritating to me, but I can't seem to kill him. I don't know why. All right, here we go. I wish I spoke like that all the time. Wouldn't that be fun? It's like, hey guys, would you guys like to watch a cast of me playing a game? Because I would. I enjoy it thoroughly. I think it's fantastic. I think it's just great. Um, but yeah, would you guys actually listen to me if I talk like that? I don't know if you would. I don't know if you would. Let's go pick up uh, the attack fly and then get the balls out of here. I suppose we could. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and go in here and open this up. Yeah, fine, I guess. Oh, I forgot. When you're playing the horde room on this floor, it is an especially hard one because it spawns a bunch of flies at the same time. But not a big deal. So we got uh, pretty good damage. We got pretty good uh, good things going on here. Dead birds also going to be pretty good. The attack fly will work out fairly well for us. I'd rather have the halo of flies, honestly. If I really wanted any kind of fly upgrade, I'd go for the halo of flies. Good thing I played that fortune teller, huh? If I didn't, then I wouldn't have this crystal ball, which is pretty darn good, this item. Uh, in case you didn't know, what it does is it works as a... Uh, it works as basically a book of revelations, so it drops either a blue heart or a tarot card. So it's not as reliable as a book of revelations or the nail, but it's still pretty good because its second effect is it actually shows you what the floor looks like. So what's really good about that is like when we get farther down, we don't even need a compass or a map, anything like that. So it's cool stuff. It's cool stuff. Um, and we shall murder because murder is what we do. Buddy, thank you. Thank you for dying. You make my life a whole lot easier. Uh, we don't have any bombs, so we can't access that, but I probably would. Likely. Oh, I almost took damage there. Luckily, I did not. Oh, so the dead bird is kind of like a pin in Eve's hair? I didn't even realize that. Because it's a pin on Isaac's head. No, that's not worth my time. So I ain't gonna do it. You know, uh, I would love, like, utterly love. Oh, I was hoping that we could actually hurt them there with the with the fly. Sadly, that wasn't the case. We could kill this guy with the fly, though. Cool. Yep. Still no bombs. That sucks. That sucks greatly. Wow, we're one-shotting flies now, which is good. Yeah, there's our tarot card. Take us to the treasure room, sure. Fire my laser. Uh. But, you know, it's not a bad item, but I can't really use it. So I ain't gonna. Because, uh, you know, I'd prefer to have uh, the thing, if you know what I mean. And I think you do know what I mean. You guys want the thing as well, because I want the thing. Uh, well, I would do that, but uh, sadly, I cannot. So I ain't gonna. That's all you gotta know. I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. You know what I haven't seen in a while? If you guys been watching Dame Drops, I wanna see if he he probably made a new video since since uh, since those last couple of videos. It's too bad we're not getting any bombs, man. I guess we could go in here. All right, let's go in here. Nope, no bombs. Speed up, cool. That speed up allowed me to dodge out of the way there, so that's cool. And now we uh, this is this is I think. <clears throat> what I would consider perfect speed. I think our speed is just right right now. Uh, and, uh, yeah. We're not too fast, but we're not too slow either. I kind of like it. I think it's a fun time. I should write a song, a folk song, about how good our speed is right now. It's even allowing us to kill these red guys fast. This could kill me. That, of course, is an exaggeration. It's hyperbole for the sake of uh, sensationalism. Uh, because I like to do that kind of thing, obviously. I mean, look at my titles of the Isaac videos. Come on. Uh, fantastic. Uh, by fantastic, I mean not very fantastic. We didn't really get, like, anything there. Still no bombs, so we cannot access that. And the sun card, <gasps> which we will... Retain. Oh, funny joke game. Funny, funny joke. I like it. It's very clever of you to say. Um, what was in the... Oh, I guess it was Fireman Laser, right? Yeah, yeah. 
I was like, what's in the treasure room? I totally forgot what that was. I don't know what's going on there. Oh. Okay, I was actually really hoping that the green bomb would hit Chad. Do some quick damage to him, but sadly, that was not the case. Oh well. Whoop! Buddy, I don't need your nonsense up in this piece. Whoop! Okay. Alright, alright. What are you doing? Oh, poop. Alright, we got Dead Bird. Oh, come on. Really? Yeah, thanks, Dead Bird. Doing a lot of good work here. Alright, and we got a little Chad, which is useless. <laughs> He's okay, I guess. Not that great, though. Uh, what would be great, I'll tell you what's great, or what would be great, is uh, I would really love, oh, damn it. I would really love the habit. The habit would be fantastic right now. Dame. <laughs> I, was call I was about to call him my dead bird, Dame Drops. Uh, he's the guy who did the Five Guys Burgers and Fries review, by the way, just in case you don't know who I'm talking about. Let's see what this is. Tears down. Great. Cool. We were doing too much damage anyway, I think, so, uh, well, again, no bombs, so nothing I can do about that one. Though I would, because that would be enough money to go to the shop, although likely, uh, Greed would be in the shop. Now, I could play that Fortune Teller since it worked out so well last time, but, uh, I don't think that's necessary. Isaac's head. You know what? I'll pick that up over, uh, well, let's use this real quick. Cool. So now we know where we're going, at least. Uh, we know where the secret room is, just in case, uh, we want to go there. Uh, that would, also, of course, require us to get, uh, more hearts, uh, not, not more hearts, more bombs than we're even getting now. I don't really want to fight there, but I kind of have to if I want to get bombs, which sucks. Isaac's head is great, by the way. And we've, uh, we've gotten pretty lucky as far as floors are concerned. Uh, we're, we're not getting any, uh, rough floors. Okay, we're not getting lucky on far, as far as items are concerned anymore. Uh, but whatever, you know, it's not so bad. Let's, let's see if we can get some bombs. Oh god, no bombs. We got a blue heart, which is good too, but... I don't know. Um, and we have enough rooms that we are going to desire to play some fangs. Um, whoops. Uh, I suppose we could always spend our money at the arcade also to try to get bombs, but I think going to the shop is going to be more valuable. Oh, come on. You summon a bitch, you! Tears down is a very annoying item. I want to say that right now. Because we're just firing so slowly. Bro. I don't even need your nonsense. Alright, cool. We got a single bomb. Um, now we could use it for a lot of things. Uh, we could use it to get that money, which we may do. We could use it to go to the secret room, which we also may do. It's less guaranteed money, but it's also a chance at a good item. I just want to see how many bombs we get by the end of the floor. And, you know, keep in mind, this is our first bomb for the past, like, four floors, so, uh, you know, I, I just have to be very cautious, is what I'm saying, is, is that, it doesn't look like bombs are dropping today, for whatever reason, uh, sometimes that happens, and, uh, yeah, that's worth it, cool, we got our key back, whatever, net zero gain, that's fine, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm better with a net zero gain than, like, a health down or something. Man, that is really too bad. You know what? The game was just like, you were doing way too well too early. Uh, we're going to have to shut you down with this health down pill. And, uh, yeah, you know what? Let's use it. I was considering not using it because it would be a waste of the map thing, the map functionality of it. But uh, we have enough rooms that, well, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, we have enough rooms that uh, we don't have to uh, do things. Oh, that was really dumb. Maybe I am too fast. Anyway, we have enough, we have enough uh, rooms that we can charge up it enough so that we only have to play a few rooms before... Oh, fuck. I dodged that. That's nonsense. Nonsense, I say. Dead bird, please, God, just do something. Uh, you guys are so worthless. Not you guys at home, but, like, 
the companions who like go and follow and attack people, they're so useless because they never hit anything. Okay, cool. We got the steam sail. That's fine. I got another bomb. All right, so let's go to the secret room. See what's going on in there. It's probably not worth my one bomb to uh, go see what's going on in. Uh, all right, well, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say it's probably not worth using my one bomb to get the four cents. But since we spent one bomb to get three cents, I feel like maybe it would have been worth it. Whatever, it's fine. Not a big deal. We'll just kill this guy and be on our merry way, I suppose. Yeah, all right. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play this a few times. Play it down to oh, boners. Well, let's go get full health, and then we'll go fight the boss. We are not getting lucky in the way of items today. We really aren't, uh, which is a shame. But you know, it happens. Sometimes it just happens, guys. Sometimes it just goes downhill very quickly. I suppose we don't have the D6, which is being our our greatest weakness here. But I just I feel like the the crystal ball is, is a good enough card to, to drop the D6, right? Like, I don't know. I think I think it is. I think it's just a good enough item that, that you want to drop the D6 no matter when you get it. Because uh, you know, it allows you to see the floors, it allows you to to uh, to get extra blue hearts. I don't know, I think I think it's a good item. I think it's uh, I, I think it was a worthwhile trade. However, I'm being proven wrong with every room uh, because of the poor drops that we're getting. Oh come on! I just I just killed him. Are you, dude? Okay, luckily we were fast enough. Come on! Uh, I realize that I spend a lot of time on the left of Gertie, and I never spend any time on the right of Gertie. Oh, that's probably why. Alright, yep, yeah, no. Alright, so never spending any time on the- DUDE, YOU JUST WALKED PAST Gertie! Are you kidding, dead bird? There you go. I have to, like, walk him around. Jesus. What a worthless item. Totally worthless. Alright. So here's a miter room, so we're gonna get the miter, which is good. Oh, uh, the scapular. There we go, we get that uh, almost as often. Um, nothing else we could do on this floor, right? I mean, we could play the arcade, but I don't think it's really worth our time. It's probably worth the money. Whether it's worth the time, I don't think so. Oh, well, I walked into that, and that was a shame. Scapular, by the way, what that's going to do for us is uh, when we get down to half of a red heart... Uh, it will give us a blue heart, which is good. So that that is potentially going to keep us alive. How long? I don't know. I don't know. I am unsure. We are kind of blowing through the game right now. Oh, that was very dumb. Because I'm a damn man. I'm not a particularly intelligent man. I wish I was. Because then, uh, I don't know, I'd be working in quantum astrophysics. Yeah, that's right, physics. It's the best kind of physics. It's the kind of physics where we don't care about... Uh... Things. Okay, here we go. Let's, uh, let's get to our treasure room. Sorry, the joke t totally failed on me. I I'm, I'm gonna be honest, that's, that's kinda what happened there, is, uh, is I lost the joke very early. Uh, I decided not to try to bring it back. Dead bird, please. Please, God. There you go. Just hit something. Oh, Jesus, dead bird. You are the most worthless. And it has a downtime. It has a... Did you notice that? Like, after it kills a, an enemy, it's like, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take a little break. Alright, that's a worthless item. So we're not gonna take it. We are gonna go to this uh, shop, because uh, we're gonna take damage here, aren't we? Yep. We might take even more damage here. We may even die here. Dead bird, thank you for being fucking worthless. Oh, great. Great. That's... No, that's good. <laughs> that's fantastic. That is... That is great how that worked out. I mean... We're, uh... You, you know what we're gonna do here? Is we're gonna... We're gonna jump in as Samson. Because... The video is a bit too short. And, uh... I... I, I, I don't want to give you guys a super short video. But I also don't want to give you guys a... One hour and fifty minute video. 
because that would be, uh, well, one, too hard to upload, and two, uh, no one would watch it. So, I, I think I'm going to play as Samson, and hopefully, oh, damn it. I mean, I'm not going to try to die. I'm going to try my best to stay alive, but, I mean, uh, you know. It doesn't often work out when you're playing as Samson. So if anybody wanted to see me play as Samson, hey, here you go. Uh, and we got a bomb, which is great, because then we can open up that blue rock, which is fantastic. And I love opening up blue rocks! And hey, if things go even worse, hey look, we got infestation! That's fantastic. I do love me some infestation. It's not, a, it's not like an amazing item, but it's, it's a good item. Because infestation basically works like the fish head, so every time we get hit, there's a chance that we will get flies spawned from within our bowels. Uh, in fact, we are going to have to use two bombs to get at this uh, blue rock, but that's fine. So we can search for the secret room, and we found it. That's cool. Hey, Eternal Heart. You know what? We're going to take it right now because I don't have any more bombs. <laughs> so I have to think ahead, you know? Uh, and we don't have enough uh, bombs to go open up that uh, that one thing that I wanted to open up. Whoa, that was a near dodge. It was a very near dodge. I, I'm surprised that we did dodge it. Uh, yeah, we, we're not going to be able to get that uh, that seven cents that I would would have loved to get. Uh, so that's too bad. But you know, whatever. Not a big deal. And we can always just go down to the next floor, uh, and I think I'm going to do that because uh, I would rather not have the chance of losing our uh, our eternal heart. It's probably going to be the thing that keeps us alive. You know, it'd be hilarious if I beat the chest with Samson right now. That'd be pretty funny. Because then you'd have a one-hour, forty-minute video anyway. I suppose some light editing would work. All right, we got range up. Maybe not. Maybe we're not going to do that. Uh, succeed, I mean. Yeah, that's fine. We have a treasure room. We need a key, though. Sadly, oh, poop. Sadly, we have not found a key yet. At all. Uh. You know, the first run, I think, was more promising than the second run. So, I'm not so upset about the second run dying off. But it does kind of suck. It does kind of suck. Um, and I guess you might as well fight this boss, right? Oh, good. Famine. Alright, that's fine. I mean, famine. Uh, Cuban meat. Oh, bull nuts. Eat my butt. I want butts to be eaten. You gotta be kidding me. He does not usually go that far. Am I right, guys? I think, I think he hasn't really ever gone that far, so maybe... Maybe that's why I'm sad this day. Whatever. Um, we shall murder Salmon. Salmon. You know what? From now on, you are Salmon. You are Salmon. Famine. Uh, because I like calling you Salmon. I like the word Salmon. It's one of those words like uh, oubliette, like I said yesterday. It's one of those words, Salmon. I just like saying it. Po mostly because I know a lot of people who call it Salmon. And I don't know why they do. Like, I get it. There's an L, but I mean, come on. No English, man. It's the only language you're expecting to learn. Alright, there's the miter room. Let's go get up the miter for us. So this is gonna be nice. Oh, the relic. You know, this is all you gotta do is you gotta, you gotta like, talk it down. You gotta, you gotta be like, like, I'm just gonna get the miter, so I'm gonna say it's the miter room. And then they give you something much better. It's worked out so far. And, uh, also, never say not health down when you're getting a pill. Uh, yes. That's worth it. Why is that worth it? Well, we need a key. And, well, I guess we didn't really need a half of a heart, but that's fine. Not a big deal. We'll uh, go to this treasure room. And then, uh, well, we don't have to move on, but I guess we could move on. Let's see what this is. Lemon mishap. Well, I guess we don't have anything else. It's not a very good item. And by not a very good item, I mean it's a terrible item. Maybe one of the worst items of the game. Uh, so... You know, there's that. Cool, a single coin. Boss horde room. Well, you know what? We're going all in, guys. Okay, nothing. It sucks, but let's go see what's in the boss horde room. 
Yeah, another health up. That's good. I will happily take that. No, why did I stand there? I don't know why I stood there. Probably because of the dumbness. Okay, he's going to take a bunch of damage from the Lemon Mishap. Not even that much damage. I mean, if Lemon Mishap did, like, a butt-ton of damage, then maybe it would be okay. But it doesn't. It does, like, almost no damage, and it is worthless. <laughs> it's a pretty terrible item. Probably one of the worst items in the game. If not the worst item in the game. Uh, but I don't think it's the worst item in the game. There are, there are far worse items. You know, that's an interesting difference, I think, between FTL and, and Isaac. Uh, which, I don't know what I prefer here. Um, that, uh, FTL, you don't really have any bad items, necessarily. Like, there's no chance of getting, like, something, like, really shitty. There's a chance of, like, not getting the item that you need to succeed. But I guess, yeah, that's uh, that's just design difference, you know, because, um, really, you're customizing your build in FTL. So having something shitty in FTL doesn't really make any sense. But with randomness in Isaac, where it's just completely random, your build, then I guess uh, shitty items make more sense. So, that's cool. I just figured out some design thing. Okay, so we got a goat hoof, which should increase our speed, which is good. Um, and we will go get back to full health, hopefully. And then move on to the next flow. This run is going actually pretty well as Samson. Which gives me fear in my soul. In my heart, in my brain. In my love making machine. Uh, cool. And we're back to full health. Fantastic. That is exactly what I like to see go on. Uh, and the relic should start dropping blue hearts any day now. Probably after this room, maybe after the next room. Because I don't think it's dropped a blue heart for us yet, but it, so that means it should be on its way soon. One would hope, at least. Cool, Lemon Mishap is up. Fantastic, that's great. That's going to be... I mean, we were really waiting for that Lemon Mishap to start, because because uh, being without it uh, really hurt us there, and we really, really need it if we're going to be effective here. Oh, damn it. That was really stupid. I meant to press the space bar, which doesn't even go over to the other side. Uh, I am a fool! A fool in love with you. Cool. Uh, so we got a blue heart from the relic, which is very nice of the relic to do for us. Thank you, relic. You're a nice guy. Good guy, relic. Giving us blue hearts right when we need it. Sadly, Bloody Lust is not going to be triggered here. I don't know how that guy, like, blocked our shot there for a second. But he did. Well, he spawned a bunch of... <laughs> spawned a buttload of flies. Oh, there's a key there. Um, he spawned a buttload of flies when he hit me once, so... You know, whatever, man. Maybe our luck is up? I don't know. Because uh, cause these kind of items apparently are based upon luck, so... Uh, oh, farts. Okay, that's gonna do nothing for me. Get up, get up. Nope, nothing. All right, great. Good work, Lemon Mishap. Doing a good job. Doing a good job for all the family. Okay, we killed that guy. Still took damage, which sucks. I don't like this room one bit. We didn't get any flies spawning in that. Or maybe we did and I didn't see. Uh, that's highly likely. Okay, uh, uh, okay, I'm gonna take damage. Hopefully, I don't take any more damage. No, okay. Fantastic. Um, and is this. Yeah, it's Mr. Boom. I, I guess Mr. Boom's probably better than, uh, Lemon Mishap. Hopefully, we don't take damage here. Nope. Uh, so yeah, now we have Mr. Boom, which is also a pretty shitty item. Pretty bad. Not very good. I'm going to take damage on maybe the easiest enemy in the game. But there's really nothing that I can do because I don't do enough damage. That's why I always feel like uh, Samson has actually like less damage than normal characters or other characters. I know I'm wrong, uh, but uh, but I always just feel like he starts with like like less damage so that he like so that bloody lust makes up for it or something. Where, where, like, one heart isn't enough. 
All right, here we go. Cool. Another blue heart from our fantastic relic. Ten bombs, probably worth it. So we'll take it. We can use Mr. Bomb, or Mr. Bomb, Mr. Boom, on uh, the next floor, or the next boss fight. The boss fight, not the next boss fight. Okay, one's dead. Now it's just kind of like a like a rolling snowball. Or a snowball. You know, one of those, one of those two things. It's either, it's either a rolling snowball or a snowball. Uh, a ball of snow. I think, I think the snowball effect really... They don't. They don't have to quantify or qualify a uh, rolling snowball effect. I think it's kind of assumed when you explain something in such a way uh, as to uh, uh, you, uh, create the image of a snowball. I think people get the idea. So good work, stupid Rob. Stupid Rob is like my alter ego. It's like Bizarro Superman. It's Bizarro Alpaca. Stupid Rob. I want a T-shirt. Internet, this is up to you. Make me a stupid Rob t-shirt. Uh, so that I can... Whoop, drop a bomb in there. Or Mr. Boom in there. Cool. Did some pretty good damage, I guess. So, you know, that's cool. Sadly, our Bloody Lust is not going to trigger on this fight. Which is sad. As I did say. I mentioned it was sad. Did you guys know that it was sad? It's very sad. That, uh, that Bloody Lust is not going to trigger... Uh, which sucks. Not much we can do about it, really. Oh, I can drop a bomb on you. Yeah, eat it. Eat it, stupid. Uh, this fight is actually going uh, unmistakably well. Uh, well, never mind. Yep, yeah, no. Just don't say anything. Just, if things are going well, just don't mention it. That's all you gotta do. Just don't mention it. And then, uh, and then things will not go bad. Oh, good. Drop a bomb. Cool. Killed him with the bomb. Got to range up. That sucks, but you know, whatever. Uh, and we're gonna go look for the secret room because I don't know. I mean, we have ten bombs now. Might as well, I think. Oh, I didn't think to be. I honestly didn't think I was gonna be right on the first try. Bombs right ahead. You know what? We're getting incremental upgrades. We went from lemon mishap to Mr. Boom to now Bob's Rotten Head, which is basically like Mr. Boom, except we can throw it at things, so it works out. It's fine. It's totally cool. It's not a big deal. Uh, there is Judgment. Cool. Maybe. That's a maybe going on there. Uh, you know what? Oh, well, we got two of them. That works. That's fine. I don't know how long it takes for Bob's Rotten Head to charge. I think it should charge after... Oh, God! Oh, wow. That's, that was really lucky, actually. Um, but yeah, uh, the thangs in my butt are uh, doing butt-like thangs. And we'll move on here. Good, bunch of spiders. Hopefully we don't die on this floor. Or, oh god, depending on how much you hate me, uh, maybe hopefully we do. Hopefully, maybe if you really hate me, uh, I, I have a heart attack while playing this game on this floor, and I actually die R R IRL. Come on, man, really? You're gonna shoot there? Oh, damn it. These guys are like, like, pro-shooting me, man. Seriously. Oh, you know what Samson might start with is actually a tears down. He might have a slower fire rate than all the other characters. That might actually be the case. Which I don't know why. I really don't get it. I, I just I don't know why Edmund McMillan thinks that uh, that bloody lust is such a great goddamn item. But I really don't. All right, we got the horror babble on. Uh, cool, I guess. Is all I can say about that. Mm. that was really dumb. I didn't actually mean to do that. Uh, obviously. But, uh, I hope I don't die here. So when you can't wrap around... Oh, Jesus. Just kill one. Just kill one. That's all you gotta do. Oh, God. Okay, one is dead. One is dead. I feel like I'm Agent Smith right now. The one is down. Okay, here we go. Whoop! Whoop! God. Almost died. 
Well, I didn't almost die, but I almost took damage in a stupid way, especially considering how things are going now. All right, let's go fight whoever this is. Okay, we got the hollow. Not so bad. Pretty easy boss, all things considered. Compared to what we could have, we could have the bloat. Or can we? I don't know if we can. I mean, maybe we can. I think the bloat might actually only spawn on the necropolis. Although now it might only, might only spawn on the depths. I don't really know. I am not really sure. I mean, not, not the depths, the uh, womb or whatever. Utero. You know what I mean. You get me. You get my words. At least I think you get my words. Does the hollow get faster when he, uh... When he, uh... Gets killed? You know, by the way, like, enemies getting faster when they're, when they're getting, uh... When they're getting killed? Like, what is that? Oh, no, no, no! Oh, okay. There was pretty much no path that I could take to not take damage there, although I guess that was the path that I took, so... Health up! Wow! The opposite of last time. How nice. Bloody Penny. It's pretty good. How... Well, I look like I have the same amount of speed. Fuck it, let's go down to the next floor. Stars, telepathy for dummies. I'd probably stick with Bob's Rotten Head. Oh, that's bad. Um, so anyway, yeah. The mechanic of things getting faster when when you're killing more of them. So, oh, farts. That was really dumb. So you know where that comes from, right? It comes from uh, Space Invaders. So how Space Invaders would work is that... Uh, oh, that was really dumb, too. Is how Space Invaders would work is... Uh, uh, that was the one where you're on the bottom of the screen... And you're shooting, uh, like, vertically, and, uh, you're trying to kill... Right, tell through dummies. Um, you're shooting vertically, and you're trying to kill, uh, the aliens, right? Um, and, uh, but what happens during the game is as you kill more of the aliens, they now get faster. They move from left to right, and they're, they're now, they, they start getting faster. Uh, so it becomes more difficult. Well, do you know why that actually was the case? Um, the the uh, the console that it was on, I think it was the Atari 2600. I could be wrong about that one, but um, that actually uh, was was lag. Uh, basically, the console couldn't render that many sprites on the screen at one time. So as the as you started killing more enemies, the game started to just basically get a better frame rate, and that just ended up being a mechanic that made that game good and actually became a mechanic that was uh, that was used in many other games since then so I uh, like for instance little Chad uh, little Chad does that in this game like he gets he gets faster uh, based on how much damage he has taken so you know that's that's straight out of space invaders and it was just because of lag so you know next time you yell at lag know it's history know know how it has actually helped the gaming industry or enemy patterns unless of course you completely hate the enemy pattern in which oh great cool unless you completely hate the enemy pattern that uh, says that enemies move faster when oh good yep can't do anything may die here uh, I don't want to oh god alright there's a pill I'm gonna hope it's full health range up okay alright I guess so no! Get out of there! Oh, come on. Okay, he should be dead. Finally, he's dead. Uh, let's stay in Horror Babylon form, guys. We're going all in. We're going all in. Okay, one down. Success. We are Samson Eve. So we're basically... Oh, no! I'm dead. Well, we tried. But anyway, I ended up being like... An amalgam of two of my least favorite characters. Or my two least favorite characters. Whatever! Um, we didn't really succeed there, but, I mean, come on. Look at these items. We got uh, Infestation, Range Up, Cube of Meat. That looks good. Health Up, 10 Bombs, Range Up. I mean... Nothing particularly great, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Um, but anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And, you know, let me know if you think that I haven't beat the chest with Judas. Because if that's the case, then I have to beat the chest with Judas, right? I mean, that's that's a thing that I have to do. So, anyway, uh, yeah, let me know. Um, anyway, this is Alpaca Patrol signing out. Peace, fools.